So we're finally on to refinishing this uh, four inch Wilton bullet vise for the channel giveaway. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're gonna put up a Google form. Everyone can that wants to can uh, enter in on that form and I will choose someone at random to ship this vise to. Um, we'll worry about shipping when we get there. I think international, it might be a little tough, but uh, I think in the lower 48, I can probably pay for the shipping myself and you get an absolutely free vise. So the first thing we're gonna do is just degrease this thing. Um, my potion of choice is a bucket of warm water and then industrial purple cleaner degreaser concentrate. This stuff works wonders on even removing paint. So if you put a, a high concentration of this stuff and put some parts in there that are painted and greasy, you can get like they came out sandblasted almost. Um, it, it can be uh, pretty impressive with the results. So the first thing we need to do is disassemble this guy just into two parts and then uh, fill up the bucket with some, um, some of the concentrate and just let it sit. Like I said, pretty heavy. It's probably four to one or something. And I'll just get this sucker apart. It's pretty nasty. Here in front of me is the baby bullet, two inch vise, that we are gonna take to the bash and Stan will raffle it off with a bunch of other good prizes. So while that one's soaking in the juice, let's take this one apart and use some citrus strip to pull all the paint off. I could obviously do this with just a wire wheel, but this will be a little less labor intensive. Let the chemicals do it. So if you've never taken a vise apart, these are dead simple. There really aren't too many parts to them. If you want a master class on Wilton baby bullets, go on Tom Lipton's channel, Ox Tools, and um, watch him build one from scratch. Still one of my favorite series on YouTube. Just his, his patience with a file and all the the fine detail and thought that he put into making that little thing. And if you're at the Barzi Summer Bash, I believe Tom will have it there for you to check out because he's still not been able to um, give it away to a worthy cause, if you will. Okay, we've got the screws off of the jaw pad here, but not um, letting go of the jaw yet. I'm gonna start with the least destructive tool. Oh, there we go, brass punch. And when the least destructive tool doesn't work, you go on to the harder ones, but starting with the tool that's least likely to cause any damage. No problem. Back to our old friend citrus strip here. Ooh, that's way too much.
think it's been about an hour. So why don't we unwrap this guy and see how we're doing. Oh, it's coming right off with the plastic. Ah, interesting. So I'm assuming that that red is from the um, sealer coat or the stuff to uh, seal the cast iron, but that's all softened up too, it looks like. Let me grab some gloves. Got our parts all cleaned off and all the paint is gone and one thing I noticed was just how awful the finish is on this face. Um, I can't imagine this has ever been in the lathe before to get cleaned up and so I'm imagining that was how it left the factory which is kind of yikes. So I don't know that we'll get it all the way cleaned up but um, we can definitely improve it. I'm going to put it here in the three jaw. I'm sure that'll be fine. Again, this is cosmetic, not functional. And we're just going to grip it nice and light. We don't want the hardened jaws to put too much pressure on that cast iron tube. Be really sad to bust this vise, and that run looks like it's running fairly true, especially since we're just doing the face. It's not going to be that big a deal to um, get it perfect. We'll leave it right there. So those are the holes that our uh, screws mount in. We don't want to go too nuts on reducing their the, the thickness in there. Should be good. Here's where we're at so far on the baby bullet. It's looking pretty good. Got the uh, face cleaned up there and all the paint removed and wire wheeled off any excess 
um, little bit of, I guess, uh, oxidation or whatever the, the remaining red stuff was that wasn't, wasn't um, protectant paint stuff. So anyway, getting pretty close. I think the next thing we're gonna do is I gotta figure out or decide if I wanna try and clean up that face there. Um, you may have noticed at the beginning of the video, this guy here was already nice and smooth. That's because I already machined it. I put that in the vise when I first got it because it was really rough. So I'll have to decide if that's worth messing with and if it is worth messing with, how to do it. That's not a, not a straightforward chucking operation in the lathe and even holding it down on the rotary table on the mill might prove to be a little bit tricky. So we'll have to decide on that. I think the, the rotary table probably be easier just because my four jaw chuck is, is big, but not humongous. But if we can get it supported on that end and kind of strapped down in the barrel and strapped down here, I can run a 3 8 end mill around, you know, just cranking on the rotary table. So that may be, may be worth doing, maybe not. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, that's our progress so far. So this has been sitting overnight. Let's go ahead and peel the plastic off and see how much of the oily nastiness stays in the bucket. That did not look yummy. That bucket is nasty. Yeah. So anyway, most of the grease and grime has stayed in the bucket or completely loose. And grab some towels. That one's a lot, a lot more stuck.
There we go. I think this is going to be the end of part one. We've got um, both vices all disassembled. The baby bullet is coming along quick. Um, there's not too much left to do before we uh, get into paint. Got most of the, the parts that need to be polished have been polished. Still need to do that guy, maybe a little bit more on those guys, a little bit more on the jaws. Um, we'll do all new hardware. So I may stick with just regular flat screws just because it's of the period but um, those will be replaced with brand new ones, maybe stainless. And then this guy was kind of a pain in the neck to get apart just because it was old and all stuck together and nasty and gross, but um, got it apart, no damage to anything. It's in good shape, just as I expected. The most telltale sign there is there's very few gouges and stuff on the barrel, especially on bigger vices. Those are normally just completely hammered to pieces from um, working on things and transferring hammer impacts down into the body of the vise and whatnot. So anyway, I'm, I'm pleased with it. Whoever wins this vise is going to be happy with a really nice condition um, USA made bullet vise. I, I think that's going to be very, very nice for somebody. So anyway, bye for now and we will get back on this just as soon as I have some more time.